Guten Morgen from Germany. We are back in Nelly's homeland, but not your home city. We are in Cologne, Germany. Just arrived from Romania, and uh, we're back to work as well, back on assignment. That's right, and it's a beautiful morning for it too. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about in this video is uh, sort of a new form of marketing that's taking over the internet and the travel and tourism industry, and I think you've seen it, but uh, we're going to try and highlight it in this video and, and talk a little bit more about that side of this business. And that all starts right now. Let's go. morning has begun here in Cologne and not even two blocks from the hostel where we're staying which is also our client is this store photo Gregor named appropriately and I am in danger for sure because I don't really need any other gear but there's always something that you think you need as a photographer or videographer uh, the guys on the Irish photography podcast call it gas gear acquisition syndrome which I probably have a little bit of so I'm gonna avoid going into this store for right now because we need to go the other way into the heart of Cologne Old Town to try and get some video footage for the client for this video, which we're gonna to touch on in a bit. So we're at the Dom Cathedral here in Cologne, which is probably like the most like recognized iconic for sure landmark Cologne. of the city. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have probably seen this before. So the idea with filming the video for the client is that it's really short. It's only like two minutes long, and we want to kind of hit highlights in a really fast uh, fashion. Where I'll be introducing the location in English, and Nelly introduces it in German. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And just hit the most iconic spots within Cologne, like do a little city tour, and yeah, but really fast. Yeah, they want it under two minutes, so. Uh, maybe I'll share that video at some point once it's actually done and, and edited, but we're sort of filming that as we're filming this at the same time. So what we're going to do right now is go up to the top. Yes, and right? apparently I think it has 500 steps or something, so it's good exercise. Wait, there's no elevator? No. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Uh, sh we have to pay to go 500 steps? That's right. Uh, I really didn't it's know that. It's good for your belly. <laughs> No, it wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> but now it's time to touch a little bit more on this job. So we are doing this campaign for a hostel called Cologne Hostel. Yep. Yeah, and we met the owner yesterday and got a bit of a briefing uh, on what he's expecting. Yeah, and it was interesting because he mentioned a trend that we've both seen uh, across the internet, especially in travel and tourism recently, and I think you've probably seen it too, and it's this idea of silent marketing where you see an ad campaign uh, or like a commercial where the actual brand or product isn't even mentioned at yeah, all. Yeah, it doesn't even look like a commercial to begin with. It looks like someone recording what they're doing. Mm -hmm. and then in the end you see the branding and you're like oh I yeah. did not 
like recognize think them. about it yeah. or maybe you did subconsciously yeah. but didn't actually think that it was like a, a, a commercial yeah. until the very end and we're seeing that as, especially on YouTube with uh, with vloggers and influencers I guess and I think it's definitely kind of a future stem of marketing and advertising I agree. so when we talked to uh, the owner of the hostel yesterday he was like I want you to make a video but don't mention the hostel yeah like, well, at least not directly yeah like, and not even really any branding like don't put the logo on the video you know it's not about the hostel it's about our experience here in exactly. Cologne yeah. and then the fact that we're staying at the hostel you know the people who are watching that are probably already staying at the hostel because they're gonna use it on their social Possibly. media yeah. so that's how it kind of comes together it's like okay well these two are are enjoying the city it's a beautiful summer day seeing all the highlights and they just happen to be staying at the hostel but they don't mention the hostel at all yeah so which I think is a great idea and we we'll try to put that into practice yeah today's the day to film uh, all of the content for this vlog and for that video and then the real work with editing begins after that but now I'm rambling on right so <laughs> I gotta try and keep these under two minutes but th that's the whole idea of what we're doing here in class. Another one of the super iconic locations in Cologne is this bridge. I don't know what the bridge name is. Do you? No, I don't. The Bridge of Locks. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. I've seen this in many other cities across Europe of like these lock bridges. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it all originates from this location. But look at this, as far as you can see, are these love locks. Of course, I brought three for Nelly and I. Yeah. Um, but it's been an absolute pleasure shooting here for the video for the client because it's almost too easy in a location like this. Like, it's just really, really beautiful. Yeah, and the weather makes it even better. So mm -hmm. we're super lucky today. But we're about halfway through our video production and we still have a couple of things planned to kind of wrap it up. But so far, it's been going great. And one of them going to the Hofbräu house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what Kolsch beer is? Because that is coming up next. <laughs> got to take a break from filming to get a bite to eat and try some of the Cologne's famous beer. This is Kolsch beer and I think you probably know what this is all about. Cologne is famous for these like small beer sizes, probably only like 0.2, but the idea is that you drink them really quickly. So when the, the waiter comes over, he puts a mark on your uh, coaster to, to show how many beers you've already had. As you can see, I've already had four. Uh, Nelly said three, I've actually had one. But uh, the idea is that you drink them really quickly, they stay cold, they stay carbonated, and you can have it with a little bit of food. And the Kolsch kind of lager beer has been uh, reproduced all over the world. It's almost like its own Pilsner or like lager. It's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, really nice German experience here in Cologne. Prost. <laughs> And that's the end of our day here in Cologne, Germany. Really, really productive production day. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Beautiful day to be filming. And I think we got a lot of wanted, what we wanted to get for the yeah, client already. I think so too. We got another full day here tomorrow. So in the case that, uh, that I get all this content onto the computer and I'm missing something or I can't fill the gaps, we still have that full day to uh, yeah fill those gaps. So that's cool. Always leave yourself a bit of time in the case that you need to uh, refill. Exactly. Yeah. So, but that's not what this video is about. It's about that sort of secret advertising and marketing that we're seeing across the internet. And it's definitely trending in travel and tourism. And uh, this is our first real job where the clients 
been like, yeah, we don't really want our own brand in the video. Which is nice because mm. I think for us it makes it more fun. Like it makes it more authentic and it makes it more real because mm -hmm. we're basically just recording our experience here and then at the end there's a branding or not or oh, there's subtle branding, like subtle marketing. Yeah. But that for us is really nice too. Yeah, you know? I mean, with I think with some clients, there's much more of like, a, we want you to follow this exact routine yeah. and uh, and really focus on whatever it is that their brand promises or their product is. Whereas these guys were the first one in a while that's been like, listen, we love what you guys do. Yeah, we've seen videos. Yeah. We just don't want to restrict you at all. Go ahead and do whatever you, you want. feel like doing. Yeah, so yeah. that kind of creative freedom is incredible. Thank you so much if you guys are watching this that did hire us to make these videos. Uh, for all the subscribers out there, I hope you've enjoyed this content. It's uh, something really different from you know the adventure travel vlogs down in Patagonia and around the world. Yeah, but this is our job. This is what we get paid for by brands, by destinations to make videos you know, for them that they can host on their websites and on their social channels. And to be able to bring you into that and share the behind the scenes is, is priceless. And that's what we're doing right here. It's been awesome. So it's been really cool. And I'm gonna cut myself off <laughs> to end this vlog. Uh, so as always, Thank you so much for watching. We hope you like this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.